Football season is finally here, but we know that game day is more than just the action on the field. It's also about great company, fun gatherings, and of course, amazing food. Joining us now is ESPN host Laura Rutledge, who's teamed up with the Honey Baked Ham Company to share the secret to the perfect game day spread. Thank you so very much for joining us this morning. We really do appreciate it. So with football season just getting started, what should people be thinking about before they before their next watch party or their next tailgate? And first of all, I love your energy. You're getting me excited for football season, even more excited than I already am. And a lot of that has to do with this incredible food that you see in front of me. It's part of the Honey Baked Ham game day spread that you need to go check out right away. We have everything you need for the best possible home gate or tailgate. You see your slider options here, including the new pulled pork Cuban slider that they're launching this year. They are delicious. Trust me, adding pulled pork to an already incredible menu. You just can't go wrong. You've got your classic ham, your excellent sides as well as the sandwich platter something for everyone and anybody likes this stuff whether you're a one-year-old which I have one and he loves all of this food or you're older than that right it's just the perfect variety and it's a great way to impress all of your friends and enjoy the football game together looks very very delicious so what else should be in our game day spreads this year yeah, I think as you're thinking about your game day spread and what you want to present to your family and friends, you want to think about the whole vibe, right? Everyone's running around, everyone's watching the game, and then they're getting up, grabbing some food. You want things that are easy to grab, right? The sliders are perfect for that. The sandwiches, great portions. You can always slice a piece of ham off, get a little topping, and go on your merry way. You're playing cornhole in the backyard, maybe a little pickup game of football. Just envisioning all of this and imagine this incredible game day spread right at the center of it you can't go wrong the convenience of it you can pick it all up at your local honey bake store and take it home with you it's all ready to go you don't have to make multiple stops and then you can just focus on having fun and enjoying football there you go and that's the point right focusing on fun and football so how is honey bake celebrating the kickoff of a new football season well, the best thing is they're taking all of this on the road and they're going to make some really awesome stops across college football this season. I don't know if we've ever been more excited for a year in college. Uh, everything's changed, right? Especially in the SEC. They're actually going to be in Jacksonville for Florida, Georgia. And yes, I said it that way because it is Florida, Georgia. Um, November 2nd, that game is a stop for them to make along their tailgate tour. You can go check out their tailgate tent. They'll be giving out samples of this delicious food as well as some swag. And I promise it's worth a stop by as you're milling around there uh, milling about there in Jacksonville before one of the best games of the entire season. We could not agree more Laura. Thank you so much. You know we we I will absolutely be down in tailgate city go every year we go down there to talk to some folks for this show and we we're a part of it as well. It's a huge huge part of our community so we're very much looking forward to it. Laura thank you so much for spending some more time with us this morning. Where can we go for some more information? So go to your local Honeybake store or honeybake.com slash game day, and I'll probably see you in RV City. So definitely give me a shout out if you're in that area for Florida, Georgia. Oh, we definitely will. Thank you so very much. And guys, if you want to catch segments like these again, all you have to do is head over to First Coast News Plus.